How's it going guys? Today I'll be showing you how to import videos into Blender as objects. This is very quick, very easy, and um, as you can see it works very well. We're going to be showing you how to do it in Blender Render first, and then I'll show you how it works in Blender Cycles. So let's get started. Let's open up a new scene. I'm just going to pause my timeline here. What you first want to do is enable an add-on within Blender. Go to File, User Preferences, Add-ons, and you want to search Image and select import images as planes. Make sure it's ticked. Press save user settings and then X. Now that you have the add-on enabled, you're gonna press shift and A on your keyboard to bring up this uh, shortcut menu. Go to mesh and images as planes. Now you're gonna locate your video that you wanna bring into Blender. Mine is under desktop. Go to, uh, I'm gonna select my Overwatch video. And if you press play, nothing happens because you can't see your video just yet and what we're missing is a light source so shift a lamp sun g to grab it z to grab it and move up the z axis and when you press play your video should start playing as you can see this was short and sweet it was excellent but we want to see how to do this in cycles render now so let's give that a go so i'm just going to delete uh, this plane and try bringing it in again but first i want to enable cycles render shift a mesh images as planes and select it okay so now if we press play you see that the video doesn't actually play out and that's because in cycles render if you want to view this you actually have to render so I'm gonna bring in a camera press alt uh, sorry control alt numpad 0 now I'm gonna move it by pressing G so what we did with the control alt and upper zero, we just snap the camera to our 3D view and then I press G just to pan the, the camera. And what we can do is that we can quickly test this by pressing shift and Z. And as I move around the timeline, you'll see that the video changes. So it is playing, but only in rendered view. And then what you want to do if you want to render this out, you're just going to select your resolution. Um, yeah, select your resolution, select your output path where your video is going to end up when you're done rendering. Um, select your render number samples number and this is how it works is that the higher the number the more HD render you're going to get but it's going to take longer to render and also of course your output format I usually go for AVI JPEG and then when you render that out you view your render and you'll see the video, video playing in cycles render thanks for watching guys that was quick that was easy if this video uh, helped you please give me a like and um, check out my other tutorials cheers guys